In this video I'm going to show you the use of the Isolate Weights tool. The Isolate Weights tool can be found on the Waiting tab of the Commands tab of the Setup tab. So I have simple tube geometry mesh item in my scene and a skeleton of locators that has been bound to that geometry to, through the bind command. In vertex map view mode, you see all these joints have been selected, so you see the weight influences for all, the, uh, for all of these joints. I'm deselecting everything and selecting only this one. This one has this weighting, this one has that weighting. And you can actually show the weight values when you select, when you first press the O key on your keyboard for your uh, visibility properties, then over here you have show weight values. When you have checked this and s select, for instance, this joint and then go to vertices over here and select a couple of vertex uh, vertices or double click on one to select them all, then you can see your actual vertex values. Now the isolate weights tool. Uh, what does this do? Well, if I were to make a selection over here like that for instance and now press the isolate weights tool then you see the values disappear over here so when I go to my item mode select this one is still selected so you see now this joint has no influences over here anymore which kind of makes little sense but there might be instances where you might want to use this so isolate weights has isolated the weights on this selection that I made. So I'm going to control Z to undo everything. Same thing, of course, the other way around. When I make a selection of vertices over here, then the isolate weights tool apparently does nothing. But when I select all my vertices, you see these ones are now all have now all have a value of zero because it isolated the vertices to my selection just like that an interesting example of this is some, uh, is what is what you can see on youtube on a channel called notes it's uh, by a canadian called warren who is known as cliff on the foundry and he has made two videos about adding new joints to an existing bound skeleton. And in these videos he makes use of the isolate weights tool. It's uh, interesting to check the to check out those videos. And in that aspect I also wanted to show you uh, the following. I'm first going to revert to my original scene. And I'm going to adjust my... Oh, um, my weighting. So in my deformers tab I have my normalizing folder with my general influences. First I'm going to pull them out of the normalizing folder because I want to adjust my weighting without normalizing my weight values. So f let's say that for instance I have added this joint to my skeleton after having done a bound operation and this uh, joint, I'm going to select it in item mode, would have for instance and I'm going to adjust the weights and because in tool properties additive is checked off and my weight is set to 1 now this joint has for all these vertices a value of 1. Just press spacebar to drop the tool and now for the isolate weights I'm going to again select these general influences and pull them back in my normalizing folder because now I do want normalizing going on. So when I select this joint you see it has this influence, this joint, and I'm going to deselect that one, has this influence, but this last one has an influence everywhere. Now, <coughs> you probably are going to want to remove the influences over here, and because now they are back in their normalizing folder, I could do the following, so back to my command tab, waiting for isolate weights, I select this joint, and go to verti vertices, make a selection of verti uh, vertices and press isolate weights. In item mode select this joint back to vertices, select these vertices and again isolate weights. And now when I control when I click 
of our double click on the vertex they all get selected so when I go to item mode you can see for this joint now only has weight values over here and actually because of the isolate weights everything here is zero now so there is actually no uh, smoothing going on over here so you might want to do some smoothing afterwards over here there those original values also have state so but the other ones have been isolated so they are zero so again no uh, smoothing going on and this one actually has smoothing all the way up to to here so after using the isolate weights tool you might want to do some cleanup so i hope this illustrates the use of the isolate weights tool this was dominic bye for now